Hey garden friends. Oh, so it is spooky month. It is official October. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of this stuff because it is my favorite because you can find the best containers. Check this one out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So it's like a little, it's a trunk with a little smiley face. So it's like a little jack-o-lantern smile. Jack-o-lantern. Oh, and it's got that little leaf right there. It's such a beautiful, I mean, all the colors they painted it with. Oh my gosh, and you got that little ghost, and he's got a little bow with polka dots on it, and he's like right by a tombstone. It is so cute. He's even wearing a little hat, the little bat on it. I just love it. I'll show you the star of the show, and this is a uh, old man cactus. Look at it. It's lethal. How am I gonna do it? We're about to find that out. <laughs> but look, it's like woolly. So they call it the old man because it, it grows like white hair. It's covered in this woolly cotton-like fiber and it covers the entire structure of the cactus. And then it's got those like golden spikes or spines that just like come out. But I just think it's so cute because it's called old man, one, and it actually grows like little like white hair like an old man would. Isn't that cute? So that's old man cactus. As a filler, I've got a sedum. This is Firestorm, one of my favorite sedums for sure. Look at that color. So it's that apple green with orange margins. And if you give it enough light, it enhances the margins or that orange color, it, it turns red. Maybe that's why it's called Firestorm. But this is a perfect plant to use as a filler. Firestorm. I've got Kalanchoe Chocolate Soldier. So it's a furry one, a fuzzy wuzzy. They grow in little clusters because there's like three little plants here. There's one small one, two, and three, and they're pettable. You can totally just sit there and just pet this plant. It is so cute. It's like velvet. It's super soft, and you can see that the colors are amazing. So that primary color is like that light green, silver almost, and then that new growth, it comes out like copper, and then it gets and then it gets lighter and lighter and then the margins turn into that copper color. So beautiful. Kalanchoe Chocolate Soldier. Ooh, this is a really pretty one. I believe this is a Senecio. And if I'm wrong, um, the right name will be down on the descriptions. Look at that. This is called a cocoon plant. You can see why they call it that. So I'm not sure if the camera is capturing the little hairs on this, um, it's like a cylind cylindrical, cylindrical <laughs> um, shape leaf. So it's, it's very round and long and it's covered in this like silky fiber. It is so cool and it's very soft. So these growing little clusters like shrubs. So, I mean, this will add a pop of color to either you know your succulent garden or to your succulent arrangements like what I'm gonna do right now. So beautiful. This one will complement the old man very well. Senecio cocoon plant, isn't it? Oh man, it almost looks like candy. I love it. It's so unique, definitely. Not a very common succulent to have in your garden. This one here is a Senecio, Senecio, Senecio. <laughs> it's Senecio, or it's it's formerly known as Senecio. I think it's it's Gurio now, and it is raindrops, raindrops or string of tears. That's what we like to call it around here. So the string of pearls, their leaves are a lot more round. These kind of grow, as you can see, like little tears almost so they're like oval so they're not quite as round as a string of pearls is so there you go string of tears and last but not least also as a filler this one is a sedum mini me love it oh look at that 
that is so <laughs> talk about looking like candy so this one grows like like a little carpet so what what happens that is that they get top heavy and then they kind of start to droop over and then they catch the soil under them and they root onto the soil and they kind of trail out like a carpet would so this is something that you could use as a ground cover a really fun ground cover for sure it can take a lot of sun but you know you have to water it quite a lot if you do have it in a super sunny spot but i'll be using it as filler for the succulent arrangement and i'm gonna get started time to plant these succulents it's planting time so what's the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add my soil to this awesome spooky container and i've got my little my little soil i'm just gonna fill this up all right all the way to the top there we go perfect all right and i'm gonna start with the old man and i got it a little dirty so with a blush brush it's a makeup brush i'm just gonna brush that soil off oh it's so cute i love it look at it i can't get over it it's a really good size too oh man okay so i'm gonna start it off right over here deep well because it's got you know look at that root system there yeah so i have to make a deep well here and i'm gonna grab my nifty little long tweezers and tuck it right in so kind of like behind that little ghost character there and okay let's see i'm gonna kind of hold it with my brush i'm gonna let go and i'm gonna tuck in those roots shuffle that soil all the way around using my little tweezers there and i'm gonna press down on it and i'm gonna use the top part and I'm gonna press down, just so I can anchor that cactus down. So it can stay put, basically. All right, it worked, woo! All right, perfect. So, let's see, what am I gonna do next? I should probably do the firestorm, because this is a taller one. So, or the tallest one. Um, so, I'll put it right like behind the cactus right over here on this side and it's pretty tall so again deep wells here because we want that root ball to go all the way inside be completely covered and i'm going to kind of like bundle it up like how i want it to look so the two taller ones i'm going to put towards the back and then the little one i'm going to put right in the front so just like that. And hopefully these spines won't bite me. Wishful thinking here. Tuck them in just like that. And the spine the, the spines of the cactus kind of match the margins on the sedum there. So that's pretty cool. It's all about balancing out colors. Even if it's little things like matching the, the cactus spines with your succulent, it can be that simple. It doesn't have to be complicated at all. I'm adding more soil to the back there because it definitely needs it and I can't really shuffle it around. A lot of bark in my soil here that I'm just gonna pull off as I go. But let's see if it stays. Oh, so it's staying put. That's really good. And I'm going to kind of shift my little arrangement here so you can have a better look of what I'm doing. And that looks really good. I'm going to grab my knitting needle and press down on the soil that's mounding up right there in between the cactus and the sedum. Taking out those unnecessary pieces, little sticks. Okay. Oh, that looks so cute. So far, so good. So I have my little star of the show, which is a cactus. 
I have my height so it adds dimension to your arrangement because you know it it's the thriller filler spiller so this is a thriller and this is the filler and then of course we have the spiller which is the string of tears there so you kind of want I, that's what I learned um, when I was a florist for a while thriller filler spiller so that's what I do to my succulent arrangements I follow that little you know rule of thumb okay so what was I saying so I finished with my firestorm now I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for so I'm gonna get the chocolate soldier and I, because it's kind of similar the color is similar to the firestorm I'm gonna plant it opposite so on the opposite side so right over here so not necessarily next to it because then it kind of blends in you want to kind of balance out the colors throughout the arrangement but that's just me you can definitely do your own thing doing a well right beside that cactus and this little cluster staying together so it makes it a lot easier I'm gonna push it a little over there and it's gonna be right near the ghost there and I'm gonna shuffle some soil to anchor it down oh man so relaxing even though there's a huge cactus here it's just so relaxing planting succulents it really does it for me I can never ever get bored of this 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 is the best therapy ever you know being close to nature it really shows you the miracle of nature and how you know it's the simple things that make us like really happy and I'm really you know feeling it right now for sure so we've got the chocolate soldier there and we've got opposite side got the firestorm so what am I gonna do okay so now I've got I've got the cocoon plant see and it's white so did I go too far with the white I don't know because I really wanted to like have something go with the ghost since he's white and because I have white succulents which is a cocoon plant here and it, that's not a very common color I really wanted to add them in so I think that I'll add let's see so I have two of them so should I add one here to the back and then one over here? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So the taller one, I'm gonna put towards the back. So this is gonna be a little challenging, obviously, but hey, what's life without a little challenge, you know? All right, so I'm gonna make a really deep well with my um, knitting needle. Okay, and I'm gonna try, I mean, look how long it is. How am I gonna pull that off? Hmm, so I hope that I made that, I'm gonna kinda like, took my little roots, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to push that stem as as like far down as I can with my knitting needle, like that. I think that's gonna work out. Let's see, how, how does it look? That looks okay. All right, I may need to adjust the firestorm, or maybe should I put both of them? You know, see, this is it. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end up cutting. It's too long, it's just not working out for me. So I'm gonna cut maybe like to right here. And it won't hurt the plant. It'll give it a, you know, it, it will recover. It'll, you know, it won't recover as, as fast as it would if I had the little root ball on there, but um, it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna cut that root ball. All right, for the sake of fitting it into this spot here. 
where it actually looks good, you know. So still, got to make the little well there. And it's going to be a lot easier to tuck in. And I'm trying not to completely tear it apart because <laughs> it's right next to a cactus. Okay. Okay. It's not going in. Okay, I think that's going to work better. Got to be patient. Okay. That looks a lot better. So just like that, and then I'm gonna push my cactus where it originally was because I kinda like pushed it out of the way. Ooh, it got me. Now that I've got my Senecio on this side, I think that I'm gonna add the other one to this side. It'll really balance it out, make it look nice and full. So I cut the other one, you know, as you saw me do. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Cut that root system off. I know you're thinking, what is she doing to that plant? But hey, they're gonna recover. Succulents are super resilient. And even though there was a little struggle there to figure that out, <laughs> You know, this is how it really is. I do these all the time, these like arrangements. And I still have my moments where I'm like, what the heck? Why isn't it working? You know, but that's just, you know, the challenge. We all have our challenges. I'm not perfect, you know, and you can definitely see that <laughs> in these videos that I make. All right. So tuck those in right there so it kind of adds like a little border to the back there's not just like this hole there so that's good it kind of balances balances it out even though I um, I'm contradicting myself with like when I said hey you shouldn't put two colors right next to each other but since they're different textures I think that it's okay <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say to that now I'm gonna add my string of tears here they go all right so it was a little cluster, but now it's falling apart on me. Great, of course. And I'm gonna clean it off. That's a perfect opportunity to clean it off a bit. I'm gonna bundle it up like it was before. I'm gonna put that one on top just like that. So I kind of made a little bouquet there because it kind of fell apart on me. I'm gonna make my well right over here to the side, right by the firestorm. And the, the shallow, the roots are really shallow on this plant, so I'm not too worried about making like a super deep well, but you'll see how I do it. So I kind of like put them all in just like that. I tuck them in and I put the soil right on top and I let them kind of trail over. And I'm gonna add some soil to that spot right there. So it can be completely covered, being careful, you know, not to get stabbed. And I'm gonna kind of bring them up a bit just to fill that area up like that. There we go. And they're gonna kind of stay put just like that. And as I say that, this one's like falling apart. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kinda use my knitting needle and really push it in there without like hurting the plant, just like that. All right, so now I've got my little filler effect here. Cute. All right, now it's time for my sedum. Let's see. Can I, can I put it to the side just like that? And I kept my sedum in my pot because I'm just gonna use little cuttings. So I'm gonna kind of pick through. So I'm gonna see what I like. Let's see. So I like this little cluster here. So that cluster right there. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab it, cut it right off with a little bit of root, just like that. So let's see if it can 
just like that. So I, I just cut it and I made sure that there is some roots attached to it. And now I'm gonna set this one right in the center. Oh, and this little string of pearls, or not pearls, string of tears is not being very stubborn here, very stubborn. But I'm gonna make a little well right beside the cactus, right there, maybe a little deeper. Just like that, and hopefully the sedum. Will kind of fit right there. Perfect. Cover that with soil, and I'm gonna keep working the sedum into this little um, space right there. So, cut that. So I'm gonna just cut it right now, just like that. All right, so cut it all up. Now I'm going to plant them. You see all those air roots? Do you see that? That means the that means that it needed more soil. That that little pot there needed more soil in it because the roots are actually reaching out. So they need more soil. That's the sign. If you see your sedums going through that. Little tip. So yeah, as they feel, as those little roots that I showed you feel the soil underneath them, they'll catch right on and root themselves in. Tuck this little one, this last one right in here. Okay, kind of tuck those little roots in as well. Kind of press it in a bit. Okay, and I see a lot of roots here too. Just gonna kind of direct them like down, just like so. All right, and let's see, do I need to add a little more soil around here? Maybe. Okay, just like that. All right. And this is all done, I'm happy to say. I'm gonna kinda tuck that little stick in there. What did I do? Did I break it? Kinda did. <laughs> Let's ignore that part. <laughs> okay, all right. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna gonna clean this up a bit. So I made quite the mess. I'm gonna get my jumbo brush here. Perfect. I'm gonna make my little pile right there. Ooh. Time to show this baby up. Show off this baby. All right. So let me get because I'm freaking perfectionist I have to like <laughs> dust it all off before oh man there we go you see how that old man got a lot of soil all over it the cocoon plant since it's got those little hairs on it it catches all the soil as well and so does the chocolate soldier oh that is such a beautiful plant that firestorm all right, okay, ooh, so cute. All right, so you can kind of see it from the front here. Oh, so cute. Gonna give it a little turn there, but I'm gonna get a little closer to the plants now. So we've got the cocoon plant in the back. Oh, that old man takes a show for sure. And it, this is the front part with all the sedum. Oh, and that's obviously going to start trailing over the planter into this little happy face right here that the little tree trunk or stub has. And we got our little string of tears. And this is going to go taller and taller and hopefully start to um, cascade over as well. Oh, 
So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in any of these succulents, they're all on SuckyCrafts.com. Don't forget to check our website out. So until the next time, bye garden friends.